package it would default on a payment next month. With the boating season well underway and a long weekend at hand, Boat Smart Canada is doing what it can to eliminate tragedies on the water. As Mike Walker reports, their primary goal is making sure you're qualified for your operator's card that you have your safety equipment. What's your orange thing? What's that? What's your Jack thing? Darch is getting ready for a busy Canada Day weekend on the water. And with just days to go, he's making sure his boat and safety equipment is ready. Very rarely you use it, you just make sure it hasn't gone missing and the expiry date for flares. You see a lot more boat traffic out on the water, a lot of less experienced boaters that might be heading out for their first weekend of the summer this year. Cameron Taylor is with Boat Smart Canada and says the long weekend means more boaters and more accidents on the water. Can't uh, predict the unexpected. You want to make sure that you're looking out for other boat traffic. There are an average of 100 boating related deaths each year in Canada. Last year there were many more. Taylor says a majority of those could have been prevented if more boaters wore a life jacket. Generally it's not mandatory to wear a life jacket or PFD, but you want to make sure that you do actually wear it. It's not going to help you if it's stored under the seat. Flares, a flashlight and throw line are the other safety equipment Taylor recommends you have on board. If you're operating a boat, you're required by law to have a pleasure craft operating card. You can get the license by taking a 50 question online exam, something Taylor says will help prepare boaters to deal with an emergency. It's a good test of a boater's skill and knowledge, so by going through that process, learning the various uh, educational material like how to navigate safely, what kind of safety equipment you need on your boat and, and how to use it properly. Now you are required by law to carry a pleasure craft operating card at all times while out on the water. Failure could result in a fine starting at $250. Mike Walker, A News. Well, are you looking for something free to do this holiday weekend? How about some fishing? The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters is offering first-timers license-free fishing from July 2nd.